you guys, Kimberly here and Oddly Me, and today I'm going to do my empties. Now this is um, kind of like a couple of months of empties. I just haven't had the chance to sit down and record this video. Uh, side note, this is the day. I do tend to, every two weeks, do a cleansing shampoo on my hair and then not put any product in it. Uh, I just like to give my hair a rest once in a while. And today, unfortunately, is that day, and it's also the day I have off work, so it's also the day that I'm filming whatever. And I'm a little, whew, I'm a little warm. It's really, really hot here right now, but let's get started. So whew, here is my big box of empties <laughs> and I'm going to try to go through them with some kind of quick order, but let's see. So I'm going to start off with these ones because they're right on top. These are my Cleansing cloths. I use these to take off my makeup at night when I've uh, gone to work because I'm really tired. I just want to take off my makeup and get to bed. They um, have um, night. They're called night relaxing, so they do have a, a bit of a smell to it. It's kind of like a lavenderish smell, and I like it. It's nice and relaxing. I went through two. Uh, I usually go through one a month. Um, there's 25 in a pack, but I don't wear makeup every day, so. Yeah, I usually go through one of these. They're oil-free. I find that they really do cleanse. They take off the oils, the dirt, the makeup, and I fe my face feels better after I use them, and I don't tend to have breakouts with these. So, there's that. Um, this one's quite old. This is probably one of the original empties that I put in this basket. It is a bath salt. Uh, I can't remember. Let me smell. This is the rose scent bath salt. I got this from Michaels and I got it on like a coupon day. So I think I got it like for like a dollar fifty. And it's just basically Epsom salt with some rose scent. And it was I really liked it. It was a good smell. It made my skin feel nice. And for a dollar fifty, this probably did four baths, I think. Maybe even five, because I think the one time I split it between the rose one and I had uh, a different one at the time. And look at the cute little spoon. I never use it, but it's just really cute. I wish I could figure out a reusable use for that. Um, some of these aren't empty. Some of them are just, I'm over it. So these ones are, this is the Mad About You Diamond Bo Body Polish from Bath and Body Works. I love this body scrub in the shower. I love the smell of it. I loved how my skin felt after. It's just all gone. I have the Wild Madagascar Vanilla, um, it's the Vanilla Bean Body Scrub. This one smelled so good and made my skin feel so good after that I actually have another one of these. Um, you know Bath and Body Works, they have those sales, like three for whatever. So I do have another one of these that I'm going to crack into, but I've just started a different scent. I like to rotate, I don't like to use the same scent. Um, consecutively because you know change what's the point of buying different scents if you're not going to mix it up once in a while but this one was really good I have two little candles um, this one is um, citron cedarwood it was from Bath and Body Works it was just a tiny little candle um, it smelled pretty good I didn't get right to the bottom but I got pretty close it's um, I just I think I was over it and it was a cheapy one day when I went. This one is a uh, Book Lover's Soy Candle Reading at the Cafe scent. Um, it's by the Frostbeard Studio in Minneapolis. I just didn't say that right, but whatever. Um, it kind of smelled... Uh, it's Reading at the Cafe, so it did have... A, it has like a cafe smell. Like a bit of coffee, a bit of like... A cookie smell it was really good and I burnt this like I can't even show you it's not gonna be able to look in there but I burnt that sucker right down I don't think I blew this one out I think I burnt it so long that it put itself out there's no wick left um, Aquafresh extreme clean <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I thought I'd show you my empty toothpaste, but there you go. I really like this one. There was a bit of bubbling to it, and I like that bubble um, sensation when I'm cleaning my teeth because I feel like it gets a really good job done. Uh, I am... Let's see. Okay, this is the Bosch & Lom Renew um, contact lens eye drops. 
I do wear contacts and uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me with contacts. I tend to do my videos on my days off where I just throw on glasses. Uh, I do love this. I keep this in my purse normally. It's not empty but it expired January um, and I, my eyes are one of those things that I do not mess with. If it's expired I won't use it anywhere near my eyes. Um, if someone uses my makeup it's now theirs. Like don't use my makeup on your eyes and then expect me to take it back and use it. If you touch my eye makeup, you just owned it because <laughs> I am terrified of ever get. I've never had pink eye, but I used to work in an optometry office. So I know the kinds of eye infections you can get from sharing things and using expired things and just not cleaning your hands when you're doing your contacts. So it's one of my... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to call it OCD, but it's one of those stickler things that I have that don't touch my stuff. And that just happened to be expired, so I'm chucking it and I'll get some new stuff. Um, this one is completely done. It's my CoverGirl BB Cream Tinted Moisturizer in Fair to Light, which is the 705. Absolutely love this. I love this for days that I'm just going to be working and I don't want to do a full face and um, days that I'm off but maybe we're going to go up to the mall but I don't want to put on a full face. I like it because it moisturizes and it does give a bit of tint without you having to sit there and do a complete um, cover foundation of application because sometimes you're just in a hurry and if you're in a hurry and you do your foundation um, you can have bald spots or blank spots or unevenness. This goes on really even and it's moisturizing at the same time and then I do find that if I do throw a bit of powder on over top that it kind of sticks and sets. So I really love this BB cream. I am currently using uh, a CC cream because I thought I would try out a different brand. Um, I like the CC brand but it's more of a cover-up foundation than it is just a tinted moisturizer and I kind of regret regret getting it and not double checking that so it's what I have so it's what I'm using I will try to get another one of these this is my third uh, BB cream from CoverGirl and I really liked it it was a good one if you're looking for just a tinted moisturizer this is a good one uh, this container actually lasted me a really long time and then when I did go on overnight stays to other people's houses or vacations or whatever it's still a good size to throw in my makeup bag so I didn't have to get multiple sizes if the one's good. I have my uh, makeup sponge I don't know if you can see but it is it's not quite falling apart there's a hole there um, but it's quite dirty and I couldn't get it clean and I have two more sitting there ready to go, so I thought, well, it's just time to carry on. Uh, another thing that I'm a bit of a stickler about is I know you can clean these, but I feel like because they're porous, you could only get them clean so much. And I do have very sensitive skin, and I break out very easily. Um, so these eyeshadows here they're little singlets that kind of click together uh, these ones are Revlon these ones are Sally Girl they are not panned out but I have had them for a really long time I've had these ones I'd say for at least three years these ones for at least two and I don't use them very often the Sally ones are great you can layer them but I find that they come off easily the Revlon are really great, but I ended up getting a palette with these colors in it, so I didn't need the two singles anymore, and they're quite old, so because of my fear of bacteria on my face, I just don't. I'm done. I'm over those ones. Staying on the eyeshadow theme, Hard Candy Palette in Birthday Suit. I absolutely love this palette. Um... You can see what my favorite colors were. <laughs> I really panned out this, um... The neutral pinkish shade I don't know if they actually say the colors on the back no they don't say the colors okay so first of all you can see it broke um, and that drives me crazy that every time I go to use it it's broken I don't really know how it broke I don't remember dropping it um, because I did pan out on my favorite color I wanted to get rid of it also I did get a new palette by CoverGirl and it has the shades that I use out of this palette in that palette. 
Um, and I did find that this, I love this hard candy one. I, I hate to say anything bad about it, but I do find that when I use these sh shadows, I have to put a makeup setting spray on because they will come off. Um, they will absorb my natural oils and within a couple hours I feel like they're not on in the intensity that I put them on. Um, and then I do try to avoid using setting sprays because I feel like setting sprays clog my pores so I try not to. Uh, so, And I also have been using this palette for over a year, two years. So I just thought it was time to move on since I have another new palette with the similar colors. So there's that. I have two mascaras in here. I have my CoverGirl Professional All-in-One Mascara. I don't believe this is waterproof and it's black brown. That one I just emptied because I use this one. This is my go-to every day. Um, sometimes I use this one and then I use like a darker, thicker mascara after this one has gone on because I feel like this one's got thinner so it separates and forms and then I use like a darker one to really set it. Um, and this is also the one I keep in my purse. This CoverGirl one with the one, two step, I did not like. I hated this thing. I wanted to try it because it was new and I felt like, great. Um, there's the setting, which is this brown thick stuff. And then there's the actual mascara, which is, I think it, I guess I just got it in brown. I don't think they had black. Um, or maybe this is one I got in a freebie. This might have been a freebie. Okay. Two-step process. I don't really have time for that, but I did it. Um, how it looked, it looked decent. I didn't mind it. Um, I did not like the feel of it. It felt thick. At the end of the day, when I took my makeup off, it felt thick. It felt like it was not coming off. I felt like it stayed on for a couple days. And I don't like that. I don't like build up of makeup. I like to be able to take it all off and then start fresh. So I'm over that one. Not to mention it's been open. I think it's been open for at least a year now. And so it's time. I don't use it enough. It's gone. Um, St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub Exfoliating. I just got a little miniature one. I think we were traveling somewhere and I felt like my skin was dull so I just grabbed a little travel one and then I completely used it. Um, I love this. This is great, the apricot scrub. I've used this for many years. It was my go-to face scrub. I have other and probably better brands now, um, things that are not so harsh, but I do feel like just once in a while, usually in the spring after a long winter and dry skin, this sucker really cleans up my face and makes me makes my skin feel soft and makes it just feel fresh and, and renewed. Um, it's an oldie but goodie. I don't have a big one. I just happened to get it when we were out and I needed something and I finished it off. Didn't want to waste it. I love that stuff. Um, my e.l.f. palette. It's translucent, translucent mattifying powder. And I really uh, panned out on that one. Oh, I really panned out on that. Um, I've had this one for over a year, at least a year, and I really liked it, but I was having to like dig around the edges of the pan. I don't have time for that in the morning, and because it's been open and for about a year, it was time to get a new one anyways, so I actually got a new one of this. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to use the translucent powder for, but what I do it for is after I've completed all my makeup and all my eye makeup, I put it underneath my eye, so I'm wiping away any fallout and then I'm brightening the under eye. I really like that. Sometimes I use it on my T-zone because it gets oily and because it's mattifying. I feel like maybe it absorbs the extra oil. Two more of my f powders that I've panned. I have the Mineral Wear Telc Free Mineral Face Powder by Physicians Formula. It's translucent. Excuse me. My I panned on that one. And then the Physician Formula Creamy Natural, just mineral wear. Um, oh, it's the Mineral Airbrushing Pressed Powder. Um, and it says it's got SPF 30. I panned on that one. So I actually went and um, got a new Physician. I really like Physician Formula Powder. I feel like it doesn't give me breakouts on everybody. That's key. Um, because I've had them both over, I think this one's been it. 
This one's been about a year, just over, and this one's been probably almost two. I hate to admit that. Um, they've had their time here. I've panned them, so it's just, it's not a good brush covering when I go in. I have to like go around the edges. And then because they've been open for a really long time, it's just time to get rid of them and get new stuff. Because what's more fun than going and getting new stuff anyways? I have one of these little um, eyebrow trimmers. They come in a three pack. I just happened to use this one. It got quite dull. And this is where I just do, um, I just take it here. Um, in between my waxing and plucking, I just cleans it up the edges, it cleans up this, all the edges, and that's what I use that for. And it's dull, so I got a new one out. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, we're almost at the end. I feel like I'm rushing through this. <laughs> um, I bought this cover, I love CoverGirl, can you tell? Um, I did get this CoverGirl uh, Lip Slick Smoochies Lip Balm. And I really, I really like the color of that. I don't know if you can see that. I really like the color of it. My problem is that, I don't know if you could see when I showed you, but there is um, like sparkles in it and the sparkles actually came out onto my lips and it was almost like a too chunky of a sparkle and I don't like that, I don't like sparkles in my eyeshadow because I feel like it goes in the creases and makes me aged. And I don't like sparkles on my lips. Um, and I found that because the sparkles were so big, it was almost, um, oh, I don't know. I wish I could show you. I can try sw swatching it. No, I think it just comes out kind of shiny. But can you see that? Like, it's just, it's so sparkly, and that's just not my thing. So I barely use that, and I'm just getting rid of it because I'm not using it. I bought a NYC Expert Last Lip Color in what color is this creamy mauve. Um, it, it I thought it was gonna I don't know creamy mauve right you think or mauve whoever you are. Um, it's quite pink like it is Barbie pink and that just does not go with my skin tone. It not good. Um, so I'm just done with that. I have a little Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara from Bare Minerals that I got in... Look how tiny that is. Isn't it the cutest little freaking thing you've ever seen? Oh, my hair. Okay. Wait, what the heck? Okay, first of all, it's so tiny. And then, like, look at the size of that brush. Huge. Anyways, um, I used it. It started to get chunky, so I'm over it. It was a... F not a freebie, but it came in one of my subscription boxes. It was fine. Um, I liked it. The brush brush is a little too clunky and for me. And then uh, as soon as mascara gets chunky, I'm over it. And then these came in the advent calendar for hard candy this year. Or last December. And I just... I can't use them. They're crap. Okay, so let me explain. This one is... A lash tinsel glitter mascara okay first of all I don't know what they're talking about because like I it dry it's so dry and I couldn't actually get the sparkles to come out on my eyelashes I don't know it's just dried out it's not very good uh, this one is an eye definition metallic eyeshadow silver, and this one is like um, like a goldish color. This stuff, I'm trying to find a spot to swatch now. Okay, swatching them, and then I'm going to tell you why I don't like them. Great in theory. I love that you can just put on, um, it's kind of like a liquid eyeshadow. Uh, there's the two colors there. You can see them. Um, I didn't like them because once they start to dry, they start to crack and chunk off. So then like I would look at my eye shadow and there would be like chunks missing. And then once it's dried, you can't re-blend it. Like, I can keep a little powder brush in my makeup bag, and if 
I start to see separation, I could just kind of blend it back. This, it, when you're out, it doesn't blend back. You actually have to carry this with you. And then when you reapply this, it flakes off the dry stuff. So it ends up just being a hot mess. So came in the advent calendar. I'm over it. I don't feel like I've wasted money on that. I'm just wasting time trying to make it work every time. Other than that, like I really love the um, goldish color. Like I love, um, you know what? I keep saying gold. Do you know what it is? It's champagne. It's a champagne color. I really love that champagne color. And initially it looks so good. Oh, it's starting to happen. Okay, I can show you. I'm going to try to show you. Okay, so see there. And then like, did it work? Yeah, like it's starting to chunk off. And then once it like, it makes it feel like you have a thin layer of glue on your eyelid. And then it tightens and then it just kind of flakes off unevenly. And then you end up with the chunks, with the chunks of this stuff like on your face. Yeah. No, totally over it. So that was my empties for today. It was kind of an empties video and a clean out my makeup haul. I redid my makeup table and so I um, just cleaned out a bunch of makeup that I don't really use anymore. So it was a makeup clean out and a empties. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, bye for now.